You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of Raw from October 16th. Yes, the go home show to TLC. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh my. And cruiserweights. Wow. (laughs) And women. Because that's uh, the makeup of the pay-per-view, basically. Well, considering that the entire upper mid card is in one match. That'll do it. Yep. We put all our eggs in one basket. Literally. Yes. And it's strange because people like it. Well, this, I mean, could you imagine, I know a different time, different place, but trying to sell this as a full pay-per-view? Oh, you mean like when the sink, when the yeah, when you, are yeah, sold well, separately? Yeah, which I think you still can purchase. You can, but it's stupid yeah. too. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah, that would be a hard sell. Yes, because like I guess they're trying to build it up to like one big thing, mm-hmm. which kind of kind of makes it feel like okay, like it's a big right. moment, and and it's gonna be a good match. Yeah, fun match, I should say, but. At the same time, we're certainly not getting a lot of value out of it, especially mm. considering it's not really over anything. Yeah. Do we, do we know what's going to be hanging from? Um, I'm going to go with uh, <laughs> uh, I was going to say Kalisto, but I can't really say that anymore. They should have done something cool, like put the uh, the winner would get a match at December's pay per view or something like that against Brock Lesnar or something. It's true. That would make sense. I mean, you can't do Survivor Series because, well... He's fighting know. gender. Yeah. Oh, spoiler alert. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Um, anyway, let's yeah. uh, let's let's get let's into the action. Dive right in. So, um, the show opened with, uh, with the package for the S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion mm-hmm. from last week. Yeah. Um, this is some strange voiceover guy. I think they've done it in the past. I know they've done it before, but they don't do it very often, so... No. They, like he was like recapping everything yes but um the, the actual show started with uh angle coming out talking about the tlc match on sunday and how the shield is taking on mm-hmm. um the miz so the bar so far. and Braun. yes and then that's when the shield comes out right mm-hmm. to their old entrance music yep. and through the crowd i was jumping around saying it because christine <laughs> was getting so mad it's like oh my god they're coming through the crowd oh my god it's their entrance music all right you can turn her off because that was it yep um so the only thing that disappointed me about this whole thing was that seth still had completely black hair yes maybe for the pay-per-view maybe we'll see maybe (laughs) so it's funny and i was thinking about this is that each of them individually had really big holes in their character Uh uh-huh just because seth his face run has been very lackluster he's not a very good face uh dean ambrose you're not getting what's advertised he is not a lunatic. He just looks like a man off his meds. Uh, yeah, he's a little kooky. <clears throat> and, well, Roman, Roman's just kind of stayed with the S.H.I.E.L.D. gimmick. He really yeah. hasn't changed too much. It's so. true. But together, as a cohesive unit, thumbs up. They, I was going to say, they really do work. And it feels like they should, mm-hmm. not necessarily should be together, but it feels like this is like, it works. Yeah. And so. they're they're they look like they're having fun doing it. Yeah, they did, like I mean, we mentioned this last week. But it feels like they actually are yeah. enjoying their. Do you guys want to hear from the shield? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kurt Angle. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, they they come down to the ring and they circle the ring or as well as you can with three people on a four sided <laughs> ring, and then they stare Kurt Angle down mm-hmm. like they're gonna attack, attack him. It was weird. And then Hounds Angle leaves justice. the ring, and then uh, they well, start. Well, he, he gets in and said, you know, I guess. Yeah, maybe he just automatically no, left I thought the he ring. just walked yeah, and left the ring. Uh, Angle, yeah, he hands the mic to Roman, and then he, because then they started oh, that's yammering. When, about, right, that's when Roman was uh, being the big dog and yeah. angry dog and bad mm-hmm. dog and all that stuff. That's when Seth grabbed the mic and said it was great to be back together, right? Yeah, it's and been five mer- years yeah. since their first match at TLC in 2012. So, do you think had ratings been tanking and attendance been down that they would have done it this soon? Or do you think it's just like all of a combination as well as trying to get Roman more popularity? Um, I think they might have had this plan with the TLC thing. Yeah. Like, that oh, might have okay. been... Yeah. 
but something. Depending on the reaction was how long they were going to keep it together. Granted, Probably. it was going to yeah. get a good reaction. But apparently the attendance was terrible Monday. Really? They had, uh, yeah, there was a picture online I'll show you after that had the upper section uh, taped off, wow. so to speak. And then there was just like a whole bunch of empty seats. Hard camera side, obviously. Yeah. That's weird. A little bit. But they were in... Oregon? Portland? Yeah. So, I don't know how good they draw normally. I so don't know. That's something else you gotta go by. Yeah. And advertised to the cage match is usually, you know, a draw. Yeah, it's in true. its own. Yeah, so, who knows. Um, but yeah, just in general, the attendance have been down. Yeah. So, as we've, like, now <coughs> known... Um, but yeah, the three of them take turns talking. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, then Dean opened his mouth again about taking on four, three, four, five, ten, whatever. Yep. As many opponents as you can throw at us. Yeah. And that's when everybody comes out mm-hmm. and then Craig Angle's like, no guys, save it for Sunday. That's all <laughs> we have on the pay-per-view. You can give everything away for free. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's yeah. getting at. And then that was it. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't know if you I noticed or if I mistakenly noticed, but uh, Dean and Seth didn't bring the belts down with them. What's the crime rate in uh, Portland? What do you think that they were <laughs> so stolen? Steal it off them in the crowd. Um, so not that it really matters, nah. but they didn't forget it in the back like Kenny Omega. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, this was my favorite segment of the night. Uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so Elias is in the ring with the uh, two good brothers. Oh, we should... Uh, never mind. Wrong show. Okay. Um. So, yeah, the uh, the two good brothers are walking with Elias tonight. Yep. And uh, so each of them asks for permission to warm up. And uh, <laughs> Luke goes first, right? And yeah. He does his thing, and then Carl's like... Or Elias is ready to get into the song, and... Uh, Carl was like, uh, good brother, Elias, can, can I warm up as well? And so I start playing the Honky Tonk Man theme song, which is fantastic. Yeah. And then he's like, uh, I, I think I'm ready. <clears throat> and then Elias is like, you know, that wasn't half bad. You know what we should do? We should sing that song that we uh, about uh, Jason Jordan that we were singing a couple weeks ago. So they were playing it to Kurt Angle's theme music, right? Yep. Yeah. And they were singing, uh, what was it, uh, Jason Jordan is a nerd. And it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. Uh, it just, Gals and Anderson are just so entertaining mm-hmm. now. So it, it's it's nice that they found a, a niche for them. Just that isn't be... them just being jerks. It's mm-hmm. them being themselves. As long as Carl Anderson <laughs> takes the pin, that's all that matters. <laughs> um, well, that is true. Yep. So, um, but yeah, at, at, during the song, Jason Jordan comes out and uh, with his team, of uh, Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews, mm-hmm. and then they have a match. Yep. And, uh, yeah, this wasn't a particularly eventful match. No. I um, think, uh, what was it? Faces stood tall, went to commercial, heels started taking advantage, and then the faces turned it around, yep. and Apollo Crews hit a sit-out powerbomb on, you guessed it, Carl Anderson. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's it's just it's kind of funny actually it is funny um but it's not very often that apollo cruz i don't know why he got the pin uh, i guess it really didn't matter so like, let's put you in a match that doesn't matter or get you that win yeah because after losing say, to elias three re- weeks in a row i was gonna or say because cruz really doesn't isn't really the major player in this mm-hmm. he's kind of just like a a bystander who just happens to be involved right but whatever Yep. So, um, after okay. that, Emma is interviewed about Asuka. Yep. About her uh, debut she's on Sunday. Said she's tired of hearing all about Asuka. Blah, blah, blah. I'm the one that started the women's revolution. No, and then Renee Young said evolution, right? Yeah. Which isn't true. That's yeah. the weird part. Yeah. But I guess, I, I mean. Well, here's it, the thing. You know, I, I it, get it. It it was um, presented as a revolution. Right. And then they did the whole 24 Now this is thing. what you've turned into, so and it was this, an evolution yeah. from that to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no so I get it. I guess that's what they're doing? I don't know. I don't know. And then, <laughs> and that's when uh, Alexa Bliss came over, right? And uh-huh. she said, women's revolution. Yep. And then she said, you know, it was uh, what? Oh, it was the women's revolution and people like Mickey James working against them. Mm-hmm. And then so. Yeah, it's odd. 
She asks Emma to team up in a match against Mickey and a partner of Mickey's choosing. If she can find one. Yes. <clears throat> that's a big stretch, apparently. Apparently, yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely didn't see this cruiserweight segment. Yeah, well, basically, they just recapped everything that had mm-hmm. been going on with Cedric Alexander and right. uh, Brian Kendrick and uh, Jack Gallagher. Okay. And then that led into the match. Um, Between what? It was, it was Alexander versus Gallagher. Oh, okay. It was weird. Uh, why did they throw Rich Swan into this? Uh, because now Exa- Alexander's not by himself. Who is he with? Because I thought this tag match happened a couple weeks ago. It was Alexander and someone versus... It was probably Swan. It could have been Swan. Maybe yeah. it was him then. Um, or it was Swan or it was Davari. Yeah. And But now that... Not Davari. Not Davari. Um, Mustafa Ali. Ali. Yeah. Because now he is with, <clears throat> um, with Kalisto. But right. Kalisto wasn't around two weeks ago, yeah. so it could have well, been. Well, it's another weird thing that we're getting a tag match between, what is it, Gallagher and Kendrick versus Alexander and Swan. Mm-hmm. But you've put the spotlight on Mustafa Ali and then left him off the pay-per-view. Well, he there's a chance there could be some involvement. With him in the he, title match? Because if Davari comes out with Enzo, <clears throat> then maybe Ali will come out with uh, Kalisto. Yeah. So, well, yeah, Ali did come out later in the night, so. Yeah. Because um, they had the tag match on 205 Live this week. Which a rematch from last week, right? I think I'm so. I'm pretty sure. Probably. I think I watched 205 uh, Sunday. Yeah, so. that sounds right. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, then then the two of them, like I said, they, they had the promo package. Yeah. Or not a promo package, but like a recap. And then they I went gotcha. right into the match yeah. for whatever reason. They yep. usually do don't really need to recap stuff yeah. like that but the partners basically got involved in the match right on the from the outside yeah yeah um excuse me yeah because uh Ale- alexander was probably going to hit the lumbar check soon mm-hmm. but kendrick grabs his feet gotcha um and then uh swan attacks kendrick from the outside hits him with a tornado ddt and then um and that's the point where um, Gallagher was like concerned about Kendrick, which allowed Alexander to get hit the, the upper hand check. and hit the lumbar check. Uh, that's it. Yep. 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 <sighs> yep. So uh, after that, yeah, the the Miz and Axel and the Bar come out mm-hmm. um, for the Miz TV segment with, with uh, Braun Strowman that they announced. I think at the beginning of the show. Yeah. I think- um, yeah, I think it was before it started. Or was it last week, maybe? It was either last week or it was, like, right after mm-hmm. the, um, the like, after where the the shield came out. I gotcha. Um, so, <clears throat> but yeah, the Miz uh, tells the crowd that Angle ruined their opportunity to crush the shield tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so Zaro started speaking with, with his mouth uh, guard still in, and it was... Uh, a little hard to understand him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how easy it is to understand him without the mouth guard in. I don't think it was bad. No, I'm just saying I don't. I don't know how oh. how his speech was affected. By oh, his oh, teeth by the teeth. Yeah, out. yeah. I, I didn't know. Has he? He hasn't. Has he wrestled since then? But before Monday, I believe so. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure yeah. that they have. I don't think that put him out of action for long. No, no, no. I know. I was just curious. Um. So. uh Oh, yeah, Cesaro uh, said that it's dumb that people are excited about the Shield being back together. Mm-hmm. Of course, they were going over what they were talking about a couple weeks ago about the Shield being a nostalgia act and all this other stuff. Yeah. Um, Hell, yeah, Seamus got the You Look Stupid channel yeah. a lot. So uh, Seamus goes that it's it's stupid that you guys are excited about the Shield getting back together. Mm-hmm. And um, they said that the three of them plus Braun Strowman mm-hmm. are going to break the Shield. And yep. then, like you said, he got the "you look stupid" chance. <laughs> um, and then the Miz grabs or starts talking again and says that they're a team to the end and mm-hmm. they'll do whatever it takes. Yep. Um, and that's when Braun comes out, right? Yeah. And then uh, Braun's not happy about what happened last week. He's like, "I got put through the announcement table." <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, announce it was, table. Uh, yeah. So but that's uh, all right because he's so funny. Yeah, it's true. Because <laughs> um, it's not, um, I guess intentional comedic timing no no but, but it he's works. got it yeah with his character absolutely um, um so uh he he says that he's going to break roman in their cage match yep 
Um, and then the Miz says that he's going to take uh, Dean on his word yeah. about saying that he'll take on even more people. Mm-hmm. And then he's going to add a fifth member to their team, which yep. the crowd started chanting for Curtis Axel. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they were they were chanting for him at the beginning of the. Oh, were they? The, yeah, the, the segment. Yeah, I th- maybe it just got louder at that point. It did. Yeah. Um. So. Angle comes out. He's like, "Hold on, hold on, hold Due on." Due to Curtis Axel's win loss record, he's not allowed in this match. It's true. <laughs> um, so he says that not going to happen. Mm-mm. And then um, the Miz argues yep. and says that this you're isn't let fair. Him not be true to his word. You're three eyes, Kurt, and he's uh-huh. like, "You're not going to trick me with that again." Yeah, because you have to have integrity. Yep. Um, so uh, at this point, um, Angle goes, "Okay, how about this?" If Braun wins, you can have your fifth member. But if Braun loses and Roman wins, then it's just a three-on-three match. Mm-hmm. And then Braun's like, I accept. And uh, that was it. I guess yep. the Miz didn't get a choice in the matter. No, 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 no. Yeah, because so. they were all contemplating back and forth, and that's when Braun just came over. Yeah. And uh, and then Angle makes the announcement that uh, during both matches later on in the night, because there's going to be a tag team title match between uh, Cesaro and Sheamus against uh, uh, Dean, Dean and Seth. Seth. Um, so they're not, no one else is allowed at ringside. Mm. No interference. Yes. Um, yeah. All right, moving on. Then we got to Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. Now, I don't even remember this happening. Not not, not the match. I did see that uh-huh. but before the match. Uh, well, what, what, what happened was they did those little, like, oh, where they interview have dealies. While the entrance was going on. Okay, so that's yeah, what Christine Alicia, was talking about. Alicia Fox was going on about how uh, she was just scratching her nose when she tapped out during the Fatal Five Way. <laughs> okay, um, and that then, makes more sense. And then she said something about being annoyed that she still doesn't have a T-shirt in mm-hmm. the... in the, uh, in the uh, Oh, in the WWE shop, even yeah, though that they had I've announced that. They had a shirt for her I don't know. last week on Twitter, I believe it sure. was. Whatever. But she's like, I've crazy been here like a fox. F- I've been here for ten years. I still don't have a shirt. Yep. And uh yeah, so and that was pretty much pretty yeah. much it. Yeah, this uh, was a pretty short match, but yeah. these two usually work relatively well together. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No. No. Um but yeah, uh Sasha went for the uh, bank statement pretty much immediately. Mm. But uh Fox, she like ducked out of the ring. Ran away. Um she came in she uh she was actually holding her, her own, own for a little while yeah, yeah right and she put sasha into a headlock and then yeah, sasha reversed really long... it right and then put her into the bank statement and that was it yep she uh loses it after the match mm-hmm. and uh she's like i demand a yeah. rematch which i think uh sasha got busted open a little bit right I think she had maybe blood, unless it was lipstick. It po- it it's possible. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't recall Because I remember there was one spot where uh, Fox hit Sasha with an elbow in the in the nose, so uh-huh. I don't know if it... I, usually, if they bleed, they bleed. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't notice, yeah. but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's true. Um, so after the match, they uh, cut <clears throat> to the back. I guess this is after a commercial. Right. Um, and then... Charlie was congratulating Good. sasha on mm-hmm. her win and then <clears throat> out of nowhere alicia fox comes in and attacks her yep and then uh referee comes back and trying to get in between them and uh-huh. alicia fox pushes him and he says you can't touch me i'm a referee and she says you're not my dad i don't have to listen to you or whatever i think it was just you're, you're not, not my, my dad. dad yeah and then she storms off and then two other referees come up yeah so uh more uh, inconsistent wwe no, no uh, suspension here. But apparently well, she got fined. Yeah, and it was funny because you had texted me that they announced it on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and then right after that, like seconds later, Michael Cole's like, uh, Alicia Fox was fined for her uh, outburst earlier tonight. So If only she said, you're not my real dad. Like, I can't wait till Jason Jordan tells Kurt Angle in the future. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, then we're going to get a paternity test on live TV. Maybe Maury will come out and host the show that night. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, there, there's a chance that maybe... Um, is that a pre-show match? What? Alicia Fox versus Sasha Banks? Uh, I don't think that's a court? match at all. Yeah. Since when? They made that a match for TLC. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't recall yeah, that. Yeah, there was three women's matches. Wow, that's yeah, weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I now, thought now it you're was, making me second guess myself. I thought it was just the um what's it called? Just um Emma and um 
Asuka and the title I'm match. I'm pretty sure they made it for the pre-show. There it is. Wow. Yeah. So that means that there's a cruiserweight, two cruiserweight matches on the main card? Yeah. And then, like I said, the uh, PowerPoint presentation by Drew Gulak in the pre-show. So you're getting three cruiserweight segments and three women's matches. Wow. Yeah. And then there's another match on the card, but nobody cares about that one. Besides the main event. Yeah. Last thing. Oh, that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's getting a little out of hand. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, next we got Enzo, right? Yep. Storm in the ring. Not looking like a uh, shopping the clearance bin this week. He I had guess. His jean suit on. Yeah, it was odd. Yeah. Um, he uh, shows a clip of what happened last week mm-hmm. when he lost to Kalisto. Yeah, with Mustafa He's... Ali. Cl- uh, you know, causing him to lose. Mm-hmm. Says that he was robbed by mm-hmm. a corrupt GM. Yep. And, uh, and <laughs> Mustafa Ali helped Kalisto steal right. his title from mm-hmm. him. And then Kalisto comes out and says that, you know, Enzo can blame whoever he wants, but... Uh, There'll be no excuses at TLC. TLC. When he wins... <laughs> yes. When I, I win I, the I championship match. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he TLC. says there'll be no excuses when I win my, the my, title uh, at TLC, yeah. as if he's supposed to be chasing the title right yeah. now. Yeah. Enzo didn't call him out on it, right? No. I thought he did say mm-hmm. something, but no. I don't. I didn't notice anything. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's st- then Enzo starts yammering about yeah. money again, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden the heels of Two Hundred Five Live came out from the crowd and yeah. attacked Kalisto and beat him down, and then Mustafa Ali comes out and basically takes out everybody himself, yes. but which was good because he got a decent pop. I was like, wow, he, whoa, these well, people know who he is. I think it's more of people hating the other guys than True. liking him, but mm-hmm. you know, but yeah, it was uh, it was interesting that they they let him pretty much take them all out until they you know. i think enzo got the well enzo didn't get hit technically no 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 but i mean he got the the best of mustafa yeah yeah so and eventually um they all take out the two of them mm-hmm. and then enzo hits the jordanzo on yep. Callisto, and that was the end of the segment yeah yep lots of cruiserweight action yeah it's uh, different yeah. For sure. But like like we've said, eggs in one basket. They got a lot of time to do it, stuff. It's true because Which, we did not see Matt Hardy tonight or on Monday night, did well, we? Well, in all fairness, there was really nothing for him to do. No. But so, um it would be nice if they started having him do single mm-hmm. stuff while Jeff is hurt, but you know that would be too easy. Yeah. Um that brought us to the tag title match, right? Yes. Um you know, not much to say about these two teams mm-hmm. that we haven't said before. But, yeah, you know, you noted that they had that uh, awkward double yeah. team. I don't know what they were going for. <sighs> it was a double crucifix, I think, right? Yeah, but it just ended whatever. up being where they were holding Dean they, like a baby. Yeah, yeah, they were they were weird. It, it just looked like they couldn't get him properly set up. Which is weird because it's not like they were in a weird position or anything. Mm-hmm. It's just like they just didn't do it. Yeah, and that's when Seth pulled Dean down, right? Mm-hmm. And then they both got the offensive. Yeah. This wasn't a terribly long match, I don't believe. Was um it? not not for their yeah not for them yeah so uh but unsurprisingly the dean and seth win with the dirty deeds after high knee the high knee combo yeah yeah so uh and that was that no yeah, no it, interference and anytime that the two of two two of these teams have matches on mm-hmm. raw and it, it's helps yeah so uh yeah. so yeah mm-hmm this was funny. Oh, yeah. Curtis Axel is in the back giving the uh, bar and Braun, right? A pep mm-hmm. talk. Yep. All of them were there. Saying and, to Braun that I need uh, you to win right. so I can be, be in, in this ma- match. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> what, did he, what did Braun say? Oh, if you want me to beat up Roman Reigns or you have to go after Roman Reigns yourself? Or, no, 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 no. I thought he he's said, like, I, I'm so pumped that I, I, I'm going to beat up. I want to beat up Roman oh, that's Reigns what he said. right, right, now. right. He says, And Braun's like, oh. go do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like well i'm st- uh, t- i'm not dressed for that and i'm, mm-hmm. I'm wearing a suit and then the braun kind of just stares at him mm-hmm. and then he's like okay i'll go do it yeah well, and then he storms storms well, off yeah. and then the three of them are still in the locker yeah room. and the miss comes in and, and well the, that was later on oh was that later yeah. that was a later it was, it was literally like several segments later they cut to um they cut to the Miz coming in. No, 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 when the Miz came in the locker room and said, where'd Curtis go? Yeah, that was later on. 
Oh, I thought that was when he actually went and searched. No, that was when he was looking for him. I could have swore no, that you're... it was later on. No, yeah. Because this is right before the Bray segment. Maybe you're all right. No, yeah, he does. Um, yeah, because Axel finds the shield. Oh, that's right. Yes, and then he was the up Miz... behind him, and that's when... Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's, 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 let's go on. The next um, you wrote Bray comes out, but it was Finn, wasn't it? No. Finn, Finn was in the ring. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, yep. Because yep. Bray hasn't been on TV in the last two weeks, that's besides true. his yeah. uh, Titantron nonsense. Well, he hasn't been on TV in a while, then, if yeah. that's the case. Because sure. I don't think he's actually physically appeared in the ring besides his pay-per-view matches. True. Anyway. He's in catering. Yeah. Finn comes out. Uh, he says he knows what he needs to do to slay the monster, and it's yeah. to the do demon. the demon. Although the effects the that they used were pretty cool. They were all right. Because um, he like was talking about whatever, um, and he was like, they were like pulsing between him and like a, a, the a, demon. a different ver version of the demon. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin paint, demon. I guess, yeah. It's Halloween, it's, man. It's, it's uh, demon as pumpkins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. So, um, but yeah. We're gonna get another demon, uh, demon king against yeah, um, and Sister I, Abigail. I guess at those, those rumors of uh, Finn versus uh, Brock at Survivor Series are down the. Uh, well, that's obviously not going to I happen. Know. I know. That's what I'm just saying. So. I just hope they don't go into another match still technically feuding. Um, you would imagine that this would be the end of it. I know we said it every time. We said it after SummerSlam, but he said it after it. It makes sense. It no makes mercy. the most sense now. Oh, well, um, the most sense would have been not I to know, have it at all. I know, I know. Anyway, let's let's move on. So, um, up next we have the tag team match that was set up earlier: mm -hmm. Emma and Alexa Bliss versus Mickey James and Bailey. Yep. Um. So yeah, this, this was, was eh. women's um, tag match at in the ten o'clock hour. Yeah. So uh, Bailey was uh, Mickey James's partner. Yes. They didn't really make a big deal about it. Mm -mm. Um, Not until after the match. Well, I'm just. Well, they had their little interview. Well, m my point was that they said because Alexis Alexis made it seem like she was going to have trouble finding a partner, oh, and then yeah. Bailey just came out. Right. Because usually they'll be like, "Who's it going to be?" Mm -hmm. But they didn't do that. Yep. Um, um, but yeah. It was nothing special. Nope. Mickey Mickey pins Alexa of all people. Yeah. With uh, a super kick. It wasn't even a the mick mi kick. Oh, it wasn't a no, mick kick? Because a mick kick's like a back kick. Yeah. This was just a regular right. super kick. Yeah, which I think they did call it a mick kick, but I don't recall them saying I it. Thought they I did. thought they just said a kick. Yeah. No. So. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so this is when Curtis Axel is backstage and he sees the shield he's, all he's conjuring like, Where are they? together just Standing in a corner, talking strategy out, or who knows what. Oh no, they were talking about. Uh, they're talking about food. Yeah, yeah. What they're gonna order after the show? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, he walks up to them, or he like pumps himself up, yep. and then he walks up to them. Then they cut to commercial. Mm -hmm. They cut back from commercial. And this is when the Miz is in the locker room with uh, Braun in the bar. Yeah. Right? Like, where's what's, Where's what's, Curtis? He went to find the shield, or he went to find Rome. Yeah, I think he said he went to find the shield, right? Yeah. And the look on he's, the Miz's like, face. What? <laughs> I gotta go find him. Yeah, and that's when he's walking backstage, right? Well, or they cut to. Yeah. Okay, that's when the Miz. Oh no, no, the no, Miz no, no, interview no. with yeah. Charlie. Yeah. Uh, interviewing Mickey and Bailey about their win. Uh huh. And then she asks Mickey about her match title on match Sunday. on Sunday. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Well, she asks, is, is, is this more about the oh, title, right. or, or is it about revenge for all the heart, hurtful right. things that Alexa said? Yeah. And, and she got, like... She, she kind of went in a roundabout way, yeah. but it seems like she... Didn't like the whole age thing. Well, no, she didn't like it, but it seemed like she was more interested in winning the title well, than... that makes sense. Well, I know, but I'm just saying <laughs> that at first she kind of made it seem like it was more about revenge, mm -hmm. but then she kind of changed her tune to be, it being more you. about the title. Doesn't matter either way, but that's like just how it uh, worked I, out. I apologize for being in and out of Raw. Yeah, whatever. I I told you the SmackDown was very similar for me. Yeah, so. fair enough. Um, so now no. backstage, the Miz finds Axel, 
and Hanging he is upside down from a forklift. forklift. Yes. Yes. Dean yeah. Ambrose knows forklifts. Yep. And he, I think his stomach was all red, so I guess they probably gave him a pink <laughs> belly. Um. So, uh, and then at this point, Renee Young, who has bad blood with the Miz, I don't mm-hmm. know why she's talking to him. Um. She goes, well. What are you going to do if Braun wins and Axel can't compete on Sunday? The Miz goes, Axel was never the fifth man. So he was getting all excited over nothing, apparently. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, up next we have... Uh, the main event? Yep. The cage match between Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. This was pretty fun. Oh, they, yeah. They, it was they very... added a lot of elements to the match. Oh, yeah. It was very uh, interesting. Yeah. It was just a little weird that... Well, I guess we'll get into it and I'll... Go on about it. Um, the Miz was on commentary for the match. Yeah, and they he, were like, he, you can't get involved with this match. Like, I'm on commentary. I am not going to do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I find it strange because the way that everything pulled... Um, I don't think that Angle should have said no one is allowed to... Well... I think that so was kind of dumb. I think what there might be is... Maybe Sunday during the pre-show or something like that. Angle goes, since you guys got involved, I'm adding a person on their side or something like that. I guess, but I, I don't know. Jason Jordan's not doing anything. It's, <laughs> I don't know. I would I would like to think it'd be more likely Matt Hardy. Yeah. Than Jason Jordan. Yeah. Or. That poor old man. Well, you know. But he's good <laughs> and he deserves he it. He is. No, he I know. He deserves the time yeah. or the the TV. Yeah. But right. that I mean, I think that would make sense. It's true. Kurt did something. But at the same time, you know, they're going to just have the overcoming story anyway. So We all know what the outcome is going to be. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway. Yes. So, um, very... Yeah, almost right away. Like, they, they fought in the cage for, what, a couple minutes, Yeah, it right? wasn't very long. And uh, Roman was going to climb over the top, and the yeah. bar comes out from the crowd and starts attacking Roman. And... Well, they didn't, they didn't get to him. Oh, oh they were he, climbing up the cage, right? He was almost over the cage. They climb up onto the cage. He's like, oh, what do I do? And then, then D- Dean and Seth come out, mm-hmm. and then they shoo Shoot. away the the bar. Yeah, they went through what up state up the ramp and yes, to they the ended back. up fighting up up to the back. Mm-hmm. Um, Braun climbs up the top of the cage, grabs Roman, and does like a superplex off the top. It was of weird though. Like, it was it, yeah. It didn't look like the landing was very good for Roman. Well, I was gonna say because he kind of just got dragged over the top of the mm-hmm. cage. But it's such an you're pretty much on the rope and holding on to the cage. That's all you yeah, got. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of a uh, lot of room to maneuver. No. Um. So at this point, um, they kind of cut away from the ring, right? Yes, and that's the, when we see a- all the backstage. Like I figure they would have done a split screen or something like yeah. that. That was my only. Well, thing. Well, I think their thing was okay. They're down in the ring, mm-hmm. and their their idea was to not have them that's move true. for a while. Yeah. Um. And then they showed. Uh, Dean, Seth, Sheamus, and Cesaro fighting in the back, mm-hmm. and then they just keep on moving and moving, and eventually they walk through like this bay that I guess was like leading to the garage, and then the Miz goes up and Press closes the, the door on the bay. Yep. So they're locked in the garage, I guess. Yeah. And uh, so then the Miz goes back. Yeah, so go sits on commentary. Yep. <laughs> like nothing ever happened. Yeah. So now no one else can. They can't get involved now. Mm-hmm. So this was a very strange turn of events. Yeah, a little bit. And uh, so yeah. Um, then would Roman hit a couple of uh, a Superman bunch of punch? Superman yeah. punches. Um, he was going for one, and Braun caught him. Right. He threw him up in the air and he, he hit him with the Superman super- punch again. That's right, yeah. And at that point in time. Roman setting up for the spear, mm. and then all of a sudden you hear fire, right? Didn't you yeah. see the fire coming on the yeah, top of the cage? All the lights went red, yeah. and Kane's music started playing. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, he's coming up through the ring. Yep. <laughs> and then it. it took a while, and yeah. Roman's just standing there looking around. What's going on? And then they pan to the wide, and then that's when Kane, Kane comes came, up yeah. through the ring. Yep. Hits and, uh, Roman with, I think, two choke two slams choke and a slams. tombstone, right? Yeah. And, and then, then Braun hits, what, two running power slams on him yep, and, uh, and finally pins pinned. him. <laughs> so Kane is apparently going to be the fifth man. The only other thing I saw coming was Roma was going to do the cage spot where he threw him into the cage and he flew through oh, through the door uh-huh. and, and ended up outside the cage before Braun did. So Roman would have gotten the win that way and that would have foiled their plans. Thrown him through the door? Through the cage, like oh. he did to the big show. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Because 
and he landed through it and technically oh, oh, would have oh. been outside first. Yeah. Okay, which I got would have in turn I got screwed you. over all their plans. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I you had to assume something was going to happen mm-hmm. in terms of interference, but as long as it wasn't Seamus and Cesaro or Dean and, but right, yeah, but technically know. they did interfere in the match. Yeah, although like that's why I think it was dumb for them to say mm-hmm. anything because it's much less likely for something to happen during the tag team right. match. Yeah, so. Um, I mean, yeah. it, it was kind of a throwaway raw, but it wasn't bad. Like no. you know, sometimes you have show that it like, wasn't. Right, that it was wasn't terrible. SmackDown before Hell in a Cell. No, <sighs> not even close. Um, so I I wasn't expecting Kane. No, that's for damn sure. Neither was I. Um, so it's nice that they can surprise us. Yeah, I guess. Well, I guess. Well, if you take a look at it, Kane's getting revenge for Roman beating his brother. You think they're going to say that? I might. It's something. I guess. Or, yeah, I guess that would be the literally the only yeah, the only justification. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm still upset about the fact that Kane's supposed to be a SmackDown superstar. That is very true, so, unless know. he went over in the uh, superstar, superstar shake-up, shake-up but that... no one said anything. Yep. I hate when they do that. <laughs> no, it would be funny, though. It happened. Kane, you're supposed to be on SmackDown. No, like, they, they made some kind of announcement, but since he hasn't been on TV since yeah, right. then, we just didn't, <laughs> didn't think of it, and we're completely wrong. It's possible. So, um, but yeah. Or or if, I mean, they edited it to the match, but Kurt could have been like, Kane's a SmackDown superstar. He's not allowed to be in this match. Tell him to go home. That'd be interesting. Nah. Tell him to go home. Yeah. It's a SmackDown universe. It's completely alternate universe. It's true. It, they're not allowed to talk about stuff that happens on there. Well, that's not true, but if your actions on one show it will not follow you to the other show. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So that was our Raw review. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.